welcome to part two of building a tiny cob wall inside my tiny house. Let's just get right into the video. There's lots to show you, so let's get started. Good morning. It's actually quite late. It's almost noon, but technically still morning. It's a new day, and I've been up for a while uh, doing bits and bobs around the place, watering my trees, watering my garden. I've made a mix of cob, and I've made some sort of a Frankenstein-like device that I'm going to use to try to make the wall straight on the inside of the cob wall. I wasn't really happy with how it's kind of getting all slopey. I want it quite consistent. I want it to be a consistent thickness the whole way up. And it's pretty difficult to do it by eye, especially with the stove in the way. I'm having a difficult time working in that tiny space and it's hard to get my arms in. So it's difficult to gauge whether the wall is going straight up and down or not. So I've made a weird wooden thing to try to Help me with that. I'm gonna uh, spike it into the clay that I did yesterday and try to set it so it's level up and down, plumb. Uh, and then I'm gonna bolt it all into the structure and I'm gonna use that sort of trellis-like thing in the same way as I used the wattles on the other side of the wall. So that's the idea. I've made this wooden thing and now I'm gonna whack it into the wall and see if my idea will work. Okay, so I've made these spiky ends, and I think the idea is to stick it into the muddy part uh, so that it's a little closer to the edge so that it's easier for me to find what's vertical. I guess that makes sense. Plus, on this side, I'd like it to be a little closer to where the shelf is going to be so I have some support for this kind of weird shelf bit that I'm, that I'm doing. So, I don't know, I guess I'll just bash it in, see what happens, hope for the best. Welcome to my closet. Um, so something about something about what I've just done seems very strange, but I think it'll help me make the wall more vertical. I am slightly concerned that the pieces of wood going horizontally are a little too close to where the edge of the cob is supposed to be. Um, I'm not concerned really about the heat coming off of the stove, I'm more concerned about maybe the cob not really having enough to grip onto, but I guess let's just see what happens. Uh, there's only three pieces of wood there. It's more of a guide and I think it should be fine. But the beauty of cob is that if it doesn't work, you can just bash it out and do it again and it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so my weird Frankenstein trellis-like thing is now going to be sitting inside the cob wall and that'll give me a guide to work from to try to make the whole thing uh, vertical and plumb rather than kind of sloping in which is what it was having a tendency to do.
I'm very pleased with how this is going so far. I think the decision to put a support on the inside as well uh, has made my life so much easier and made things go up a lot more quickly. Uh, this front part here, uh, it obviously needs attention, it needs to be smoothed out, I need to figure out how I want to do the top part, but eventually it's going to have some little hanging bits that will support a poker and a shovel for the stove. That's the idea anyways. And then, yeah, I'm just slowly building up. I'm almost there. I think one more mix should probably do it. Uh, and then, yeah, then I need to think about the top part. I'll need to saw these guys off to whatever the height is and think about what I want to do on top. So lots to think about, one more mix I think, and I'm gonna let this dry and come back to this uh, later on in the afternoon like I did yesterday. I think while I let this dry for a bit, I'm gonna have a little rest, maybe have a snooze in the hammock, and then I'm going to start thinking about this side of the cupboard. It's gonna need another upright to match this one. Yeah, I just need to kind of figure out how I want to fasten everything together, how to fasten something into the wall. So I'll probably prepare the pieces of wood that I think I'm going to need. I also need a piece that's going to go across there and eventually I also need to figure out what to do with the corner because I want an upright in the corner so I can eventually support a little roofy shelfy type thing up there. So lots to think about but if I prepare the wood, get it ready, sand it and everything like that, I'll be ready to go once I make a decision. So I've had a bit of a rest. I've sanded some wood, I've sanded an upright for the closet, and I'm ready to get muddy again. So let's make one last, hopefully, mix. So things have solidified a little bit, but before I get started, I actually need to chop off these pieces here because they're going to be in the way of my alcove sort of shelf thingamajiggy. Um, and I've given it some thought. I'm also going to screw in some pieces of wood into the mud, into the clay, so that I have something to bolt onto. Because what I, what I want to do is hang a shovel and a pokey stick for the stove in this little bit here. And I'm going to have probably a rock on top, but I want to be able to put a couple of hooks underneath. And in order to do that, I have to have something to screw them into. I could put the hooks into the clay now, and that would be nice and strong, but I don't have hooks. I don't have pokey things. So I don't have, know how tall they are. Um, I did have my friend measure hers, so I know that they're around 50 centimeters long. And so I'll do this alcove thing to be around 55 centimeters, I think. So that's the plan. So I've got a bit of finicky stuff to do, and then I can continue with the cob. I doubt clay is very good for my saw, but it had to be done. So now I'm going to attempt to put some pieces of wood into the clay so that I can screw onto them later on. I want to embed this wood in here at around this height here. So I've got a bit of work to do on the cob before I can really stick it in, but, but what I have done is basically made a little porcupine. So it'll go in with this piece sticking out. I'll put one sort of around there and another one kind of around there and the nails will just kind of hold it into the cob. 
so that when the cob is all um, built around it, it's got something to grip onto. Uh, and then eventually it'll probably be covered over a little bit, but I'll know it's there. And so whenever I'm ready to put the screw in to hold the pokey stick so that it can hang, there'll be a block of wood for it to screw into. Uh, it wouldn't screw in very nicely into the cob. You really want wood uh, behind there. So that's the idea, but I've got to build the cob up a little bit more. So it's time to get muddy. So this is all a little bit too wet and slumpy, so what I'm doing is making some big finger holes so that when I come to do this tomorrow, when it's had a bit more time to dry, uh, the next layer of clay will have something to grip onto. Tomorrow it won't be so dry that it won't already grip, but it just helps. So that's the reason. And I'll try to get the little porcupines in now. Actually, no, I'm going to do the porcupines a different tomorrow because I don't really know where the plane of this is going to end up, so there's really no rush. So I've just got a little bit more clay, and I'm going to focus on putting it on top and also finishing this front wall here. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it has a tendency to want to bulge out. Um, and so what I'll probably do is let it dry a little bit. And before I go to bed tonight, I'll come back and do the same thing I'm doing now. Wet my hands, give it a slap, and try to push it in. And then if, it, if it's looking good, I'll go over it with a trowel. And then this side is almost finished. Yeah, it's actually looking pretty good. So I'm quite happy with this. I just needed a little bit more mix, but I don't have any more straw. I can probably scrounge around the garden for some, uh, just to finish this final little bit. But a job for another day, because I'm tired, and this probably wants to dry a little bit. So yeah. Cobble. Almost finished. Okay, I gotta walk away. I could do this all day. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly tiring. Uh, I don't know if I have mud all over my face. It's a possibility. It's quite splashy when you start smacking the sides, but very satisfying. It's almost done. I think tomorrow morning I'll have one last crack at it. Uh, I'll have to scrounge around for some straw uh, that doesn't look all gross. I might have just a little bit left, just enough to finish the job. I have a little bit of sand left and I have a decent amount of clay, so 
that should be fine. Um, it would be cool to get the top on now as well, but I actually don't know what I'm going to use. If I decide to use wood, I'll need to actually go buy some wood. And if I decide to use stones, I'll probably need to give that some more thought. And I definitely need my angle grinder to be working again. So, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, should I top the whole thing off with uh, a nice bit of wood, um, stained a nice color, nice and thick and chunky? Or should I do it in stone the way that I've done the hearth and the doorstep to tie it all in together? Um, I'm leaning towards stone. I think it would be quite unique. Uh, kind of interesting and it would match the rest of it, but I'd be really curious to hear what you think um, or any other ideas as well. Um, tile maybe at the top, I'm not sure. Uh, I want something artistic and, and beautiful and uh, unique and I think the stone will do that, but I'm open to suggestions. <sighs> okay, so it's been a long day. Um, like I said, this cob work, even though it's a little teeny tiny wall, when you're mixing the cob yourself and not with a cement mixer, it's pretty tiring. So I'm exhausted. I'm going to have an early dinner and then I think I might actually go for a walk. I think tonight is the night. I watered the garden in the morning. I feel sort of energetic and yeah, it's a lovely night. So I'm going to take you on a walk after I have some dinner. All right, let's go for a walk. Good morning. It's a brand new day and it's it's beautiful. It's kind of weirdly cloudy. There's been rumblings that perhaps we'll have rain in the next week or two. I don't believe it, but I'm ever hopeful that it'll come. But we've been promised rain before and it just seems to pass us by. So fingers crossed, it rains. But I can't worry about that. I need to finish this wall. I'm meeting a friend for lunch today and I've got about three hours to get this as finished as possible before I head out. And so the plan for this morning is wet the wall down and I'm gonna try to sculpt the shelf a little bit more. The clay should be slightly harder and more easy to work with. I'll also put the wooden blocks in place so I can screw into them later on. And yeah, lots to do, so enough talking about it. Let's actually get some work done.
I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. It's a bit slumpy and I don't want to mess it up by building on top of it right now. So I still have some mix left in the wheelbarrow, but the beauty with cob is that I can just rehydrate it when I get back later this afternoon and use it. So it's not that big of a deal. Like I said, I don't want to rush this part. This is a fairly important part of the whole feature of the wall and I want to give it some time. So I'll go to lunch, enjoy some sushi with my friend, do a bunch of errands around town, and then I'll be back in the afternoon to hopefully finish off this mix and finish off the wall for now. I'm not gonna get the top part on. I still need to think about that, but I'm really happy with how things are going and I'm excited to get back and finish it off. I'm back from town. I'm full of sushi. I've done my laundry. I'm kind of tired. Going into town really does sort of take it out of me, but I'm ready to continue work on this wall and put what's in the wheelbarrow behind me onto the wall there. So let's see what I can get done tonight. Um, it's about six o'clock, but it's sunny and beautiful out there. Ooh, yeah, that sun is bright. So let's return to the cave-like area and uh, close the door part way and get back to work because I'm really eager to get this done and I still think I have a lot to do. So uh, let's crack on with the work and get this wheelbarrow onto this wall. Okay, so this is where I'm at. So let's see here. Yeah, it's about, just about plum. There's not too much of a bulge. It's pretty plum there and mm, it's not great here.
Look at them eyes. Oh, what's up with your ear? Yeah. Hey. See? Thoughts? Opinions? Okay. I am pretty pleased with how this has gone, I gotta say. I've used up all the clay, and I've got a wall, mostly to the height that I want. The front part still needs to be done. I'm gonna find a rock that juts out a little bit to support the weight above it. I also need to figure out what height I want to go to. I think I'll go a little higher than the, the wood stove. And so I've got to saw these guys off. And so then there'll be a stone in here. It'll pack up a little bit more and then there'll be the top shelf, whatever I decide to do, which I think will probably be stones. Although that might be very, very difficult. Um, so we'll see. So yeah, that was quite a lot of work, I gotta say. It doesn't look like much, but it really took its toll. Cob, man, it's tricky to mix by hand, but very satisfying, and it's a truly, truly wonderful material to work with. So yeah, my glasses are muddy, my shirt's muddy, the tripod is ridiculously muddy. And it's been a wonderful few days working on this cob wall. I love working with clay. It's an amazing, amazing material and I'm really looking forward to working with it a lot more. So that's all from this video. <laughs> it's been uh, really fun to make. Tricky to film with the mud. Uh, I gotta say my camera is definitely worse for wear. But overall, uh, I'm really happy with how it's ended up and I'm looking forward to finally completing it once I figure out what I'm gonna do with the top. I also need to track down a little bit more straw before I can continue. So that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed these two days of building with cob. It's just a little while, but it gives you an idea of what can be done with this material. Anyway, I love cob. I think that's plain to see. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. I love hearing your comments. Uh, if you really enjoyed the video, there's a super thanks button down there, uh, which will be much appreciated. <sighs> so I guess that's it. I'm really, really pleased with this job, as you can probably tell, but I'm also happy that it's finished because I'm excited to move on to some carpentry in the coming weeks. So look forward to that, and I will see you in the next video. And thanks again for watching. What do you think of that, Mikey? Look at how muddy that is, huh? What do you think?